Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Today we're going to look at how to make a really simple musical instrument at home, just using everyday things that you have at home, but the kids get to make it themselves. So there's that sense of pride and accomplishment and ownership over something that they've made themselves. So all we need is some sort of cardboard tube. It could be a roll from paper towels or um, you know, a big one like this or even a small uh, toilet roll, uh, cardboard roll is fine. And then next we need some baking paper. So just cut a simple slice of um, baking paper. It doesn't need to be perfect size. And what we're going to do is just cover one end of the tube. So we'll put it over like this. I've got a rubber band here and then just pull it nice and tight and actually even just this on its own you have a drum. So we've got a drum on one side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of something in here to make a sound. Now again you can use all sorts of things to make a sound. Today I've got some sand and I've also got some rice. So dried lentils, rice, even a bit of dirt, some small pebbles, all of that sort of thing works. And it all makes different sounds, so that's quite interesting for kids to listen to the different sounds. And also even just the, the sensory texture of what it feels like to put your hands in these different materials. What does it feel like to put your hands in sand or your hands in rice? So we're just going to fill up, we really only need a small amount, so I'm just going to put maybe three tablespoons. One, two, three, just a tiny bit really. And if it was a small one, you'd only need about one, you know, one uh, tablespoon. And if you can hear already that we've got some sound starting to happen. So now all we need to do is seal off the other end. So I'll just grab just another piece of um, the baking paper over the top. Try and hold it nice down nicely and the rubber bands. Now, all, even this sort of thing with children helping, it's helping their fine motor skills as well and their hand-eye coordination. All right, so we've got the, the rubber band on nice and tight, and let's listen. So if we do it slowly, it's almost like a rain stick. And if we do it fast, we have a shaker. Two hands. Now, if you'd like to, you can decorate it, you know, just get some crayons and things, you know, draw stars or put their name on it and let them scribble all, all over it. So they have their very own, um, you know, they can tell whose is whose and make it into their own decorative instrument. And if you're going to use it for a little while, it's also a good idea to seal it off. So you can use masking tape or if you've got some sort of coloured decorative tape, that can also be nice. So you can just sort of go around the bottom of it just to seal off to make sure none of that rice escapes. Yep. So for example, got a bit of tape just to hold it on and now we're ready to go. Now, we often think we need to buy the first, you know, the most exciting new, brand new instruments, but actually there's all sorts of ways that you can make noise and make sound and make music at home. And some of the best instruments are just things that you find every day around the house. So we've made these shakers but you can also make the shakers from, say, old bottles. This one's got um, some, some sesame seeds in it, and the sesame seeds have been dyed with a bit of food dye. So it's pink, just to make it a bit more interesting, and we've got some colourful tape. And we've sealed the lids on, so now we've got two different, two different shakers that have different sounds. But we can also use things like, um, you know, the good old pots and pans. So we've got an old, tin, you know, just from the op shop or an old one that you're not using anymore that's maybe too dented. An old cake tin, and this one's been decorated, but even when it's not decorated, we can explore all sorts of sound with that. We've got a drum. We can play it with our fingers, with our nails. We can scratch on it. We can find some sort of, I wonder what, a drumstick, wooden spoon. Obviously that's a lot louder. What does it sound like inside? It's almost like a bell. So we can create our own band, our own instruments, just from stuff that we can find around the house. You know, um, uh, I've got a, an old bamboo bowl here that we can...
We can make all sorts of sounds with different things that we find around the house. And often they're the best ones. And if they break, it's not the end of the world. We don't need the brand new shakers. So there you go, making instruments at home.